I'm happy to have you here with me once again. Welcome back. Yeah, we're still in this room. I know the audio and the acoustics are not the better, but right now I kind of like the lighting. Today is a little bit different because it's sunny and the last time that I filmed in this room was pretty cloudy and raining actually. Uh, but yeah, I kind of like it here. I like the lighting, so we're still here for now at least. Today, as you can see in the title, we're having the update for my Pandos Eyeshadows project and I'm really excited about this update. We're going to have a rollout because we have a pan and I'm really excited about that. But it's not the most exciting update, but I'm pretty sure the next update is going to be really interesting. We're going to add a new rule also. I know, I feel like I'm adding rules every three seconds. But to be honest, there is a lot of things that I start to realize while I'm doing this project that's going to make this project easier for me, more interesting for me, and hopefully for you too. So yeah, we're going to add a new rule, but if this is the first video of this type that you're seeing, this, uh, <laughs> this project was created by Alexi, and as always, I'm going to be leaving her down in the description box with my rules. Uh, but I'm working in six eyeshadows at a time, one of them from my focus palette, one of them from my older ones, and four of them out of my whole collection. My goal is to hit pan or use the eyeshadows 25 times. And the rule that I'm going to be adding from today on is that if an eyeshadow has been in this project for more than three months, I can decide if I want to lower the goal to 15 uses. I wasn't sure how I wanted to do this because there are some shades that I've been working on since January and they're still here and I almost don't have usage on them. On them. Uh, so yeah, I was thinking what I was going to be able to do, what I wanted to do and I decided to create this new role to still get use out of those eyeshadows but have less pressure on them. So yeah, I don't want to make this introduction any longer because it's already kind of long. So we're going to start with the video, but first I'll leave the color story that I've been working on over here. And now we can start. As always, I'm going to start talking about the shades that I have used the least to move up to the shades that I have used the most. And this palette is always, or this shade is always the shade that I use the least. This is my Alicia palette from Beauty Creations and the shade that we've been working on Oh, it's no longer here actually, I just remembered that Give me a second, I need to go look for that palette It has been so long since the last time that I used this shade that I didn't even remember that I changed the shade or the palette Well, the shade that I'm working on is in this magnetic palette over here and it's this Cyan Calypso uh, aqua color over here. It's a metallic. It's not super pigmented to be honest I don't know if you can hear the noise of the street, but right now it's pretty loud. I'm sorry <laughs> This shade I have only used once for a total of five uses and that's what I mean This shade has been here in this project for four months already and so far I have only used it five times Trying to use this shade 25 times, it's completely crazy for me. It will take me over a year because I don't, I don't feel inspired by this color, to be honest. So I thought that maybe what I should do is just roll it out, like use a beetle on it and just declutter it. Or, well, not declutter, but roll it out. But I don't want to do that, to be honest. I want to be able to make some progress on it. So the 15 uses sounds a lot more reasonable for me than 25 uses. Okay, moving on, we have the second shade that we're going to be changing the rule to. And that comes from my Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. And also I've been working since the beginning of the year in this shade over here called Leo. Leo, it's a pretty a light pink shimmer. It's what I'm using today in my inner corner. I don't know if you can see it or not. And it's a pretty shade. And I thought when I rolled it in that it was going to be really easy for me to use this shade, <sighs> but it has not been like that. It has been really hard for me 
Today is the second time that I'm using this tape in the last month for a total of 10 uses. Again, with the old wools, I will still need 15 more uses on it, but I'm going to change, change the rule in this one too, and I'm going to set uh, the goal to use it 15 times, so I only need five more uses. And with this one, I'm really okay with that because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to hit pan on it in 25 uses because it's a big shadow, it has a dome. So I'm okay only using it 15 times. It has been this palette in my rotation for the last four months and it has been a lot, so I'm okay with that. Okay, moving on, what do we have? Okay, the next shade that we have, I think we rolled two updates ago and that is from my Nude Light palette from Huda Beauty and it's the shade number seven over here. I'm trying to hit pan on it. This is the second month that this palette has been on this project. Uh, in the last month, I used it three times for a total of eight uses. So we still need 17 more uses on it. To be honest, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit pan on this one or not. I'm kind of hoping that I'll have a pan after the 25 uses, but I'm not completely sure because this shade doesn't really pick up too well with a brush, so I tend to use my fingers to apply it. And that way, like, the surface that I touch is way wider, I guess, and the deep is like bigger, but less deeper, if that makes sense. So I don't know, maybe we're going to be able to hit pan on it, maybe not, I'm not sure. It's the first time that I'm trying to hit pan on a shimmer, only using it, using it with my finger. So who knows what's going to happen with that shade. Okay, let's move on with the next shade. This is Act Natural from my Just My Look palette, but I have it here in this other palette, and it's this shade over here. You'll see in the close-ups, but you can see a little bit of a deep on it, nothing too big. This is another palette that has been in this project since January. But this is a shade that I actually want to be able to get to the 25 uses. It's another one that I don't think I'm going to be able to hit pan on in 25 uses, but I wanna give it a try. I want to find new ways to use it because so far the only way that I have found that I like using this shade i'm pretty sure my grammar was awful there but i think you get my point the only way that i have found that i can use this shade and enjoy it is if i use it like a, a like an eyeliner and i don't know i would love to find other ways to use greens that i feel comfortable on but so far, every time that I try to do a full green look, I just feel way over... How do I say it? I feel like I'm wearing way too much makeup. So for that reason, so far, I have only used it as an eyeliner. But the other day, actually the day that I filmed my introduction for the whole collection project pan, I put this shade with some purples and it looks so freaking pretty. I need to do that look again. But yeah, I don't know if I said it, but so far I have used it four times in the last month for a total of 16 uses. So nine more uh, uses to go and I'm pretty sure we're going to reach that. Okay, maybe not pretty sure, but I'll try to reach that goal in the next month. It's going to be hard, not gonna lie, but I will try. Okay, we have two more palettes to talk about. Let's go with Tootsie Roll. Okay, the next shade is the shade that comes from my Focus palette. This is my Focus palette because my sister gave it to me back in 2019. And until this year, I didn't use it at all. I've been working, oops, sorry, in the shade Tootsie Roll. And there you can see it. It has a tiny bit of pan and I'm so excited about that. Finally, we have a pan in this palette. And as you can see, we didn't only hit pan in one sheet, we hit pan in this one also. This is a bonus pan and I'm so freaking excited. 
and I decided that I'm going to, since this is my focus palette, now I'll try to completely use up this shade over here. So at the end of this video, we're going to be rolling another shade from this palette, but we're closer with this palette. I know it's only two pants in a 16 pan palette, but I'm so excited about it. Okay, and the last shade and the one that I have used the most, I knew it was going to be really easy for me to reach for. It's come from my Play Jewel palette from ColourPop. This is one of my newer palettes in my collection. And I roll in a shade that is a pretty nice transition shade. And I was looking forward to use a transition shade in this project. Okay, I have to film fast because the sun is moving and soon all of my face is going to be like this. But okay, as I was saying, I rolled in the shade Uncut last month. It's this shade over here and I know in camera you cannot see it. It looks brand new, but hopefully in the close-up you will be able to see that we have usage on it. I wouldn't call it a deep yet but you can see how the deep is forming and I'm really excited about that. So far we have used it a total of eight times and eight uses in a month is really good for me. I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, we're going to be able to reach the 25 uses in the next month. Maybe, if I put my mind into it, maybe, uh, but yeah. In eight uses, I barely have a dip, so I don't think we'll have a pan of the 25 uses, but we're going to have a significant dip, and I'm excited about that. <sighs> this room is getting hot. So, those are all the tips that I've been working on in the last month, and now we can roll in a new number. It's not that exciting because it comes from my focus palette, so I'm not going to be rolling a number from my whole collection, but it is what it is this month. This palette has 16 shades on it, and we're going to be randomizing a number from 1 to 14, and we're going to skip these two. We're going to go like this, yeah, like this, yeah, something like that. Okay, let me open my pretty random app. Okay, here I have it. I'm kind of hoping to get the pinky shimmer in the palette. But we'll see. Let me. Is this better? Uh, like a little bit. Okay. Let's randomize number. Number six. Okay. That is not the pink that I wanted. Can you see it there? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It's pretty similar to Tootsie Roll. A little bit lighter maybe yeah but it's pretty similar it looks almost exactly the same it's a little bit more cool tone maybe but it's pretty similar okay i'll leave a picture of the color story we're going to be working on over here if you have any suggestions of how to use those shades please let me know but that's everything for today thank you so much for joining me in this video i'm really excited and i'm hoping that next month it's going to be a really, really interesting update. But yeah, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please consider subscribing. I would love that. And I hope we'll see you in the next one. Bye.